Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the February 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take just a general look at February. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note. But again, let's go back to column number one and get started here. Pulling a summary affirmation card for the last few weeks or month, we have the card, I am gifted. I like this cancer. Uh, in case nobody has told you recently, you definitely are gifted. And oftentimes when we see this type of card, this is like uh, a reflection or realizing that you are able to share your gifts with somebody in these last few weeks or month. So let's see what comes through here. You have lots of skills and it seems like they've come in handy. So let's see what messages we have. Okay, up first we have the Sun card. In terms of good cards in the tarot deck, it really truly doesn't get much better than the Sun card. This is a card of material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. Um, I like this. It really, I think, is a great reflection of how good and how wonderful um, these last few weeks or month have been for you. Also, in terms of sharing this gift or sharing whatever this was, um, there's a lot of success connected around this. So. Not only is there happiness here, this is an indicator of some sort of success for you as well, Cancer. Up next, we have the Ace of Coins or the Ace of Pentacles. This indicates, uh, well, anytime we have a new, uh, an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Pentacles, this is typically new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. So it does seem like there could be some sort of new money coming in as well, potentially related to a skill or a gift that you have. And then up next, we have our Ten of Cups, another really wonderful card. If you've watched my readings before, you know the Ten of Cups is my favorite card in the entire deck. It's a card of content a family, it's a card of family, contentment, total love, support. It's seriously everything wonderful, everything happy, Cancer. Um, so we have some really, really strong cards coming here for you. I hope you're feeling just how wonderful these last few weeks have been or last month has been. But let's go ahead and clarify out and see what other messages we have. First up, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very in intentional, very strategic. Um, you may continue to use this skill, this gift, continue this sharing, continue this success and happiness, which I like to see. This is future focused. This is ongoing. Um, this is talking about future state. So I hope this happiness really carries through for you, especially since we're early in the year. If we can continue this January energy throughout the entire year, that would be wonderful. Up next, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, if you look at this card, both the horse and rider are moving very quickly here, Cancer. This is quick. This is um, speed, action, things moving very quickly. And this is an indicator of some sort of change, some sort of fast-paced change. Um, so if you haven't felt or seen this new money, I think it'll be coming quite quickly. Um, some sort of money movement that's coming in hot here. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Cups on top of our Ten of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of receiving a gift. Um, it could be getting reconnected with somebody, but it feels more like gift. Perhaps it could be a surprise that this new money is coming in, or really kind of surprised by this happiness. This is like something unexpected, some sort of surprise that's prompted all this, it seems. Okay, now moving on to our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to just general February, what's coming. Let's take a look at our summary affirmation card here. We have I Feel Brave. Um, I'm only done three readings so far this month, Cancer, and I think this card has come up all three times, so brave seems to be important. 
Um, so make sure that you are feeling courageous, that you're feeling brave, that you're going into situations confidently this month. Um, but again, being brave is important as we tackle whatever February brings our way. Let's go ahead and take a look though and see what messages we have. Uh, first we have the tower card. The tower card is a tower moment. Um, this is oftentimes unwanted change. It's something that kind of uh, derails our plans or just kind of throws us off our game. I will say the nice thing about the tower card though is the tower card is a course correcting card. It's like whatever happens happens for a reason and it makes sure that we're on the right path. So be brave as you tread into this new thing. Know that it might not be what you wanted but it will definitely be what you needed. I always like to say too with the tower card it's like you plan for A, B, C and D, E, F ends up happening cancer. Okay, taking a look at our next card here, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawal, retreat, wanting to move on. Um, I like this though, because think about like the grass being greener on the other side. This is leveling up, this is advancing. The Eight of Cups looks nice. It's good, we like it here, but there's something even better waiting. So again, this is the stepping stone. This is advancing forward. Um, this tower moment is going to advance us forward. Although it may feel like a setback at first, um, it really actually is taking us where we wanna go. So love to see those paired together. At the bottom here, we have the moon card. The moon card is something unseen, unforeseen challenges, unforeseen obstacles. Makes sense with the tower. Again, this is that thing that pops up that we didn't plan for, that we don't necessarily want. Um, the moon also though is about like delusion or illusion, or I guess maybe a better way to say this is like not having all the information, not being able to see all the pieces. So it's like, you're not gonna understand why this thing happens. But again, it's course correcting. And with the Eight of Cups, it's really about going from good to better. So we're going to be glad it happens. Let's go ahead and clarify out and see what other messages I can give you here, Cancer. First up, we have the Knight of Wands. When I pull the Knight of Wands card, it literally like screams freedom to me. I like it. It's very freeing. Again, it's course correcting. It's making sure we're in the right place. Also, some other words associated with our Knight of Wands is very free spirited, very creative. Um, we're going to like this new better than we liked the old. So just trust me when I say that if you can. <laughs> the next card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of working smarter, not harder. It's mastering your craft. It's enjoying what we're doing. Again, we're going to enjoy this new thing. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, this is also about working hard and then reaping the benefits of your hard work. So one of the things I really like about that it may, again, feel like we're not on the right path. In reality, we really are with the Eight of Cups. This is going from good to better. This is what you've been working towards, and you're going to enjoy what's on the other side here. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Cups. For those of you who have watched my readings before, you know I love these kind of repeat card scenarios. Again, the Eight of Cups, here they are, stacked so nicely, and yet this person is still walking away from them. This is, again, that step up that advancement, that going from good to better, the grass is greener on the other side. So I like whatever this changes. Again, you might not like it in the moment, Cancer, but you're gonna like the other side of it. So I actually really, really like the way that came out for you. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. We're gonna start off with like a money tips, tricks, advice card here. It says, remove the word broke from your vocabulary. You are abundant with resources and opportunities to assist in building wealth. Okay, in this column we're gonna talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, really anything that you associate with money, Cancer. Uh, first we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional, very strategic, very long-term. Um, I think this is a good time to be thinking about what you wanna be doing. I don't know that you want to do what you've been doing. So do think almost 
what I'm hearing is five-year plan. So be thinking about a financial or career five-year plan here, Cancer. You need to like set true goals for yourself and start to work towards those. Again, you're not like miserable, but you don't love your financial situation. I don't think you love your career. So let's focus on where we want to go here. Clarify that more for you. But again, I'm hearing like you need to create a five-year plan. The next card that we have is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of trusting your intuition, trusting yourself. Um, this can also be like a card of secrets or mysteries. There be, might be some piece of information that you don't have. We're going to look to see if you find, yeah, you actually will. I'm looking ahead to the Justice card here. So it's like there's some sort of unknown, but you're going to be finding out the information this month. But again, trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, use that as you create that plan to like what actually feels good to you. What do you truly want? At the bottom here, we have the justice card. The justice card is a card of cause and effect. It's win-win solutions. It is truth coming out though. So again, there's some sort of secret or mystery and then this is like us finding out whatever that information is. So whatever missing piece of information, cancer, uh, it's going, you're going to have it by the end of the month, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. The justice card is also really good for things like legal contracts, matters of the court, um, all of those things, giving you the information that you need and indicating favorable outcomes here. Okay, well, let's clarify though and see what other messages we have. First up, we have the High Priestess. We had talked about the High Priestess already. Again, there's some sort of unknown. We've acknowledged that. But more importantly, this is like, what do you want to do? Trust your gut, trust your intuition. What really truly feels good here? Uh, and create that five-year plan for yourself. The next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is very patient. This is an indicator of new job, raise, money news. Um, like how this lined up with the Ace of Coins earlier as well. So definitely some new money filtering in, it seems like some new opportunity. Perhaps though, it's that's the unknown, that's the secret. Maybe there's like a job that's gonna be released that they haven't announced yet. Or maybe you're getting a pay raise or something that you were not aware of. Uh, that would be a wonderful secret. I would love that for you. Um, but again, it does seem like there's some new money coming in. So we like to see that. It's just not obvious at this point. At the bottom here, we have the Magician. The Magician is very focused creativity. It's turning visions into reality. It's inspired action. Um, I feel like when you find out whatever this information is, it's going to motivate you and it's going to be an enabler to create what you want. Um, but again, the Magician pairs really nicely into that five-year plan and helping create your visions into reality there, Cancer. Okay, now let's take a look at our fourth column, which is anything related to love. Similar to the money column, we're going to start with a little quick love message. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. That really ties quite nicely into what we were just talking about with our five-year plan, I believe, but let's see what messages come through here. In this column, we're gonna talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you think of when you think of love, Cancer. Up uh, first, we have the devil. The devil is an interesting card. It's a card of greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Um, and it can go a lot of different ways. So a lot of times when I see this card, it's a card of overthinking. So I'm going to throw that message out because I think that's going to resonate for some of you. Try and stay out of that cycle of overthinking if you can this month, Cancer. Um, for others of you, though, there's like something that we're, well, it's kind of in the same vein. Um, like we're really focused, obsessive, overthinking on something this month as it relates to family, love, relationships. So just be cautious of that and um, try and keep thoughts to a reasonable amount when possible rather than obsessing or kind of overthinking about something. We're going to clarify that and see what other messages I can give you. Moving on, though, that energy is pretty strong. We have the Five of Coins or the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of worry. So again, we're like focused on something. We're giving a lot of attention to something here. Um, we're giving a lot of thought, attention, time to something, like kind of almost in an obsessive way. So just be aware of that. I'll see what other messages I can get you when we clarify. And at the bottom here, we have the Fool. 
The Fool's the first card in the Major Arcana. It's fresh hope, taking chances, going on a new path, adventure, journey. So some sort of new beginning. If you're single and wanting to enter into a relationship, this is a great card for you. Um, but you can be in a relationship and have this kind of new beginning as well. I'm trying to think, though... I don't necessarily know that this obsession or this focus or this worry is connected to this new beginning. These are kind of separate events here, Cancer. Top two associated, the other one not so much, but let's clarify and see what other messages we have. Again, the full card coming up, new beginning. I don't know that this is though, again, what we're overthinking or obsessing about. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. This is about using our resources resourcefully. Um, our thought and time are resources along with money and energy and water and all those other things. So again, make sure that we're not draining resources, overthinking or worrying where we can here, Cancer. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles can also be a card of fertility, which is wonderful. If you're hoping to grow your family, this is a great card for you. In general, this is also a really domestic card. So um, great if you're in a relationship looking for a new relationship. Uh, it seems like there's potentially a new relationship brewing again for some of you. Perhaps it's a new friendship, uh, but no doubt there's something new. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of going through unnecessary transition. I know this card looks a little gloomy. Everybody's head's facing down. Their sword's stuck in the boat. But the boat is moving in a forward, positive direction. So I would say go after this new beginning. We're going to be really happy we did. It's going to be really meaningful. Uh, and it's kind of just what you need right when you need it, Cancer. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides, something to carry into the month of February with us. We have the card, I am beautiful. I hope that you've been told that as well recently. Cancer, you are beautiful inside and out. Let's see what type of messages we have coming through here for you in this end column though. The first card that we have is the death card. I always like to point out that the death card does not actually mean death. It's more of an indicator of like a change or a transformation. Transformation. It's death to something we know. We're moving away from something, but it's not actually like death. Um, this could also be, well, not really. So this is just an indicator of a big change, some sort of transformation. Again, us moving on from something. So definitely, uh, moving on from something here, Cancer. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient. Um, I feel like you're moving yourself forward here. This is you taking action. This is also a card of communication, so keep communication um, as kind of a key focus for yourself in February. Uh, that old saying, communication is key. The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card um, of having a lot of different things going on and it can be kind of hard, hard to commit to something. I feel like there's something you need to let go. There's something you need to move on from. But we're having a hard time fully like letting it die. Fully taking a step away from it and moving forward from it. So just be aware of that kind of challenge that we feel with the Seven of Cups and that kind of non-committal energy that may be associated with it. Okay, let's clarify these out and see what other messages I can give you here, Cancer. First up, we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. Those are all kind of sharp words. In general, though, the Three of Swords is healing from something that hurts. And again, there's just something that we need to move on from. Hopefully this makes sense, Cancer. I'm sure this is something different for so many of you. Um, but keep that in mind there is like something that's not treating us well anymore, that's not serving us well anymore, something that needs to be let go of. The next card we have is the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups on top of our Queen of Swords. The Queen of Cups is a card of nurturing. It's a card of healing. Um, pairs really nicely with what we were just talking about, the Three of Swords. We need to heal. We need to move on. We need to nurture. Again, something is not serving us well, so we need to cut ties with it. Last but not least, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. Whatever this is, we're going to be really glad when we finally do commit and move away from it. So 
Um, nice final message there for you, Cancer. Now let's take a look. I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the eight of spades. This is number 32 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the eight of clubs. This is number 13 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three is the two of hearts. This is number 19 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes, no, yes, therefore you cancer. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of February. You have Turquoise, which is good for self-responsibility. That'll help with some of that non-committal energy, committing to that moving on. Uh, it really helps you forge your own destiny and is great for saying no. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, The body heals with play, the mind heals with laughter, and the spirit heals with joy. Thank you so much, Cancer, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Cancer, and I hope you have a wonderful February.